Hey guys, welcome to another video of my series on exploring the YouTube data API and in this video we are going to do something interesting. What we are going to do in this particular video is that we will try to decode the upload pattern of any given YouTube channel. So by upload pattern I mean that we will try to see like at what time does any given YouTube channel uploads their videos like at what time of the day like at which hour <laughs> so that is what i mean right so we will try to check take any particular youtube channel and we will try to see their upload pattern by using the youtube data api we will write some simple code and try to see what kind of pattern do we get is that interesting or not so that is what we will try to find so without any delay let's get started okay so if you haven't been following this exploring the youtube data api series of mine then you can just click on this link i'll be sharing this notebook in the description of this video itself so you can just go through this particular um you can go through this particular playlist that i have already uploaded and in the first few videos itself we have ex uh, i have explained that how you can um set up your project in a way that you can utilize the YouTube data API and then also how can you fetch the YouTube videos of any particular channel and so on. So I've already created some utility function for getting the channel ID or the getting channel data of by searching for the channel name or I can also I have also written a function for getting all the videos of a channel and there is a, another utility function which is used for parsing the publishing timestamp of any particular youtube video so we will just be using the date time strp function in which i have specified the pattern according to which we will be able to get the published time as a date time object so these are some utility functions that i have already created so let us get to the task so first of all i am importing some required modules and after that i have my youtube developer api key and now i'm going to create a youtube resource object by passing that youtube developer key so once that is done we are ready to start our exploration so the first thing is that i need to get the channel id of the channel which i want to explore so let me go with pewdiepie okay so this is pewdiepie's channel's description i think which is i make videos so i think it is him uh, let me go to let me just copy his channel id and let me just check if it is him or not i think it should be him because we have searched just by his name so it should be his channel on the top so yeah um yeah so it's him so we have got the correct channel id so let me put it as channel id is equal to get channel in which i'm gonna pass the id the channel id so yeah so we have got channel id like this and now what i need is i'll be exploring the last hundred videos of PewDiePie let's say so videos is equal to get videos so I want to return a get videos function if you want to understand the basics of it like how it is working then you can check out my I think fourth video in this particular series which is getting all videos of a channel so you can just explore that right away but if you want to just use it directly then you can do that too so get videos in which you have to pass the channel ID so this is the channel ID and also you have to pass a limit. So let's say the limit is 100. So let's say I want to get only 100 videos. So I got the videos and now here is the list of those videos. So yeah, so we have all those videos. So the latest video is fixing Sonic the Hedgehog. So I think, yeah, so we are getting the videos from newest to oldest order. So we have got all the videos and now I want to get the published timestamps. So I want to get the published timestamps of all the videos that I have so publish timestamps is equal to um, let me use some list comprehension in which I'm just gonna take each video in my videos list and I'm gonna just fetch its published time only so let's see what is the published timestamps so look at that here are all the daytime objects which are the published timestamps for different videos now for each published timestamp i want to get the exact time of the day like um, 5 hours 30 minutes or let's say 2 hours 30 minutes and so on any kind of time that i want to have so that i can point it or i can uh, display it in any kind of plot so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say publish times publish times will be t dot r plus t dot minute 
by 60 so what I'm gonna do is I am taking each published time stamp and I'm gonna convert it to its time value so I'm only interested in the hour of the day at which the video was uploaded so let's say a video was uploaded at 5 hours 30 minutes so I will convert it into 5 plus 30 by 60 which is 1, 0 0.5 so it will become 5.5 .5. so in this way I will get a list of all the R values so publish times is something like this right so in this way I have got all the published times which are basically the R values plus the minute values divided by 60 so now what we can do from here is that I can just do some plotting here so I've got the published times so let me just import the matplotl library as plt so now what I'm gonna do here is plt dot plot so okay so what kind of plot should I use here so that is something that we should ponder upon so I think I can make a histogram here so I have 24 hours in a day so I can make 24 slots and then I can um, put these published times into those slots in a histogram so that is what we can do here so plt dot hist in which I will pass all the list of my published times and number of bins that I need is 24 as there are 24 hours in a day also um, I would like to make 24 ticks on my x-axis for each hour so I will be passing a 24 range 24 which will return 0 to 23 integers so we are passing it to plt.xticks function and finally we will show it to the user so plt.show so let's see what kind of pattern does PewDiePie follow for uploading his videos so okay so look at that we have got something interesting so now first one thing that I forgot to tell you was that I am parsing the published timestamps and I am adding a time delta of 5 hours 30 minutes from the um, let's say GMT the Greenwich Median Time so it is actually uh, um, the Indian time zone so according to an, a person living in India right now this is the time at which PewDiePie uploads his videos so from this it seems like for a person who lives in India, according to them, PewDiePie uploads most of his videos at night around 9 up to 1 at night. So it is around 9 9 p.m. you can say. Yeah, so if it is starting from here, if you say it is starting from here, let's say. So it is 9 p.m. up to 2 a.m. in the morning. So it is 9 to 2. So this is the time during which PewDiePie prefers to upload his videos. And if we think of it from... Um, his perspective like what is the time zone he lives in Sweden right I think well it's a shame that I don't know but yeah so it is he's Swedish so he must be living in Sweden I think so let me just check that out um, actually his residence is Brighton United Kingdom he is a Swedish but he doesn't live in Sweden it seems okay so according to United Kingdom then it's quite simple the UTC I think will not matter in that case let me just do United Kingdom time zone from UTC uh, let's see the time zone in United Kingdom it is UTC plus one okay so here I was doing time delta r is equal to 5 I will have to make it only 1 and minute should be 0 so let's check it out now um, let me update my published timestamps let me update my published times so this is the actual time according to PewDiePie when he's uploading the videos so this seems like he uploads most of his videos from 6 p.m. up to 9 p.m. so from 6 to 9 p.m most of the times he's uploading his videos and yeah so this shows us something and one video he has uploaded in among his last hundred videos one video he has uploaded around 4 a.m. in the morning well yeah so this is how we have um, just found the pattern of um, uploads of YouTube channel of PewDiePie now um, let me just do it for T series let's say <laughs> well it was obvious didn't wasn't it so T series let's say 
let's see well i'm sure that t-series won't be uploading their videos um at night because they are a corporate so they must be uploading their videos in the office hours i think so first of all let me convert the time zone back to india which is 5 hours 30 minutes from utc so we got the videos the published timestamps the published times and let me just plot it look at that yeah so i was right P uh, t series uploads their videos from 9 am in the morning up to around 8 pm right so this makes it quite clear because they are a company so they must be uploading their videos mostly in the office hours right and one more interesting thing to see here is that from 1 pm to 2 pm no video has been has been uploaded among the last 100 videos i think that might be the lunch time <laughs> well let me just make it 500 let us check out their pattern for last 500 videos let's see what happens we will we might get a more clear picture so let's check it out so yeah so most of their videos are uploaded from a nine around nine up to eight in the night so nine in the morning up to eight in the night so that is the time during which T series uploads most of their videos and yeah that's fine and that is quite predictable as well right one more thing um let me just check out my channel as well well i am quite inconsistent so i don't think there will be any special pattern you might see videos uploading here and there at any time in the day yeah as you can see only during this time when i am actually asleep from 3 to 8 it's, yeah so that's quite um correct yeah so yeah so this was a small utility that i made by using the youtube data api in which we are trying to find the upload pattern of our of different youtube channels and i hope that you enjoyed this process and you will yourself try to find more different ways of using the youtube data api and we'll share in the comment section below so yeah so if you still have doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this particular video thanks for watching